Hey what is going on everyone, this is Wicked and this night is gonna be a special one. I will be testing out a ROM which never let me down. I will test a ROM from which I learned a lot about Android development. I will test a ROM which is legendary. A ROM which I've been using for more than two and a half years on my Samsung Galaxy S4. Created by Indy an outstanding Android recognized developer. Ladies and gentlemen, say welcome to the most popular ROM for Samsung Galaxy devices, the legendary Omega ROM. It is the first release for Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus, so as always I won't expect much from it, but I guarantee this developer along with this ROM will have an outstanding support during the next period of time. Either way, I am wicked, and that means I'll do this review in a wicked manner. You don't know what a wicked manner is? Well, let's find out. If you want to know more about installing this ROM, check out my videos in the card section. You may also have to update your bootloader before, so bear that in mind. A link to that tutorial is also listed there. Also, if you don't want to lose your current data and just test this ROM, check out my tutorial on how to do an Android backup on your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. Now, let's have a look at the boot animation, along with his little brother, the Galaxy S4, which is running Omega version 40. And yeah, wow, what a moment to be alive. Time flies and uh, development continues. Anyways, what can this ROM do for you? Since it is a first release, don't expect a lot. It is Odex, rooted with either Magisk or SuperSU. By the way, this ROM can be deployed in Aroma Installer when you can also select your region specific CSC. The ROM comes with the well known Omega Files application, which I will open up and take a look at in the aesthetics section of this review. Running on latest Samsung firmware, Omega V1 is rocking the stock kernel under the hood. I know you are really curious about how it performs and whether it can be as fast as Lightning. So let's power up Antutu benchmark and see how it goes. After a complete test, Antutu showed me this score. On to the wall of speed, Omega is right under King ROM. Gaming performance was great, besides my great ability to drive a coach full of people, everything was as expected. Temple Run 2 also ran great, but there's no surprise here. The overall feeling Omega ROM gives me, as it did during the last two years on my Galaxy S4, was stability. Let's hope during the next releases, Indy will bake more tweaks, mods and features into the ROM to make it even faster. Speaking of features, what about the aesthetics of this ROM? As I stated earlier, every Omega ROM comes with Omega Files app, and this ROM is no exception. Here you can select your device and then browse through some interesting threads. You can find stock and Omega boot animations, latest modem and bootloader, various recommended apps and so on and so forth. In the bottom section you'll find the mods tab, which unfortunately is pretty empty right now with only two of them, scrolling cache and five-way reboot, which is a more advanced and faster way to reboot into various mods like recovery, download, fastboot, etc. So, to sum up, the ROM is great for an initial release. I am expecting even more from it, but that will obviously happen in the future. If you want to find out more about updates and bugs of this ROM, visit the XDA thread in the description. Speaking about bugs, I couldn't find any until now, so that's okay. Wicked score for this ROM? I'm really trying not to be influenced by the experience I had with it on my Galaxy S4 and not give it a 5 out of 5. In this current state though, Omega ROM version 1 receives from me a stable 4 out of 5. There's plenty of work to be done in the features and customization section and that's my opinion. Thank you for watching, this was wicked, this was wicked, and if you like my review make sure you click that thumbs up button and subscribe right on my channel. I'm answering as many questions as I can on my Instagram page, so make sure you follow me at Let's Get Wicked. Until next time, as always, take care.
Wicked is out. Bye-bye.